McMaster and his wife, Peggy McMaster, uh, the Adjutant General of South Carolina, Major General Van McCarty, and Major General Brad Owens. Uh, last year, due to COVID, uh, the ceremony consisted of me, Ms. Julie Reinberg, and the governor. And as much as we enjoyed the governor's company, it's, it's great to see everyone out and that we were able to do this today. So thank you, Governor. In 2018, Ms. Julie Reinberg collaborated with the governor's office, and so we were able to set the tree up just outside of the governor's office here in the west wing of the State House. Each gold star on the tree represents a fallen hero. The motto of the Beirut veterans is, the first duty is to always remember, and that's why we are here today to honor your heroes, to honor you, and thank you for their sacrifice. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the governor of South Carolina, the Honorable Henry McMaster. No, I'm sorry, general. the general. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the Adjutant General of South Carolina, the Honorable or Van McCarty. Thank you, Governor McMaster, Mr. McMaster. Thank you for allowing us to be here today and to allow us to have the opportunity to remember and honor our fallen. As we approach the holiday season, uh, it's always a very exciting time of year for families to come together, for friends to come together and celebrate the purpose of the season. But to our Gold Star mothers and our Gold Star families, it's a, a different type of celebration. They celebrate the memories of their loved ones. They cherish those thoughts of knowing that their loved ones made an impact for this great nation, but it's also a difficult time of year. As is, we recognize as a nation Memorial Day one day a year. For our Gold Star families, each and every day is a Memorial Day. Each and every day is a day that they have a vague place in their heart where their loved one once filled. So we're thankful here to have the opportunity to recognize with our tree memorializing our fallen and have a gold star to recognize each and every one of them. And we have three gold star mothers and representing three gold star families with us here today. And we are always looking to ensure that we remember them in special ways. And our Gold Star mothers and our Gold Star families tell us a couple things. First of all, don't forget my loved one. Don't forget the, the sacrifice they made for this great nation, and don't forget to tell the story. The second thing I think is very, very important to know is that they believe that their loved one made the sacrifice doing something they love doing, serving this great nation, and serving with their comrades, their fellow soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, or airmen. And it's our job as a nation to remember them. And this is part of that remembrance process. So thank you for allowing us to be here today in the State House, in the Governor's West Wing, to have this tree, but more importantly, what it means in recognizing our Gold Star mothers, our Gold Star families, and their loved ones. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Diane Rawl, one of our Gold Star mothers. Good afternoon. Um, on behalf of all the Gold Star mothers of the state of South Carolina and the families of the Gold, the, of the Gold Star mothers, we would like to thank you so much for remembering our children um, we don't say that we lost them, we say that they gave their life to the service of this country. And uh, General McCarty was correct. <clears throat> Our biggest fear is that they will be forgotten. Um, but we ask everyone to say their names and tell their stories. And if you see us everywhere and about, that's what we Gold Star Mothers are doing. We are telling their stories because we do not want them forgotten. But we do thank you so very much for this wonderful honor. It is a very difficult time of the year for Gold Star families. Um, we appreciate Christ's birth um, and uh, the greatest gift ever been given. But we also are missing um, 
a huge part of our hearts and our families. And we thank each one of you. Our state has been so good to us. Our communities have been so good to us throughout this entire time. And I think back to the, the day that um, we were notified and that next week and 10 days, our state was very good to us, very, and has been ever since. And, I, and we appreciate that. So on behalf of the Gold Star Mothers, we thank you very much. Thank you. I also will add my welcome and that of the First Lady to all of you here. It's glad to, we're glad to have you here. I want you to be welcome. Um, we know there's no greater gift that anyone can give than to lay down their life for their, their fellow man. And these gold stars, there are over 600 on this tree that represent in the last, last few years those from our state who have died on active duty. And it's a fitting place uh, to have this tree to remember because this is the people's house, this state house, is the people's house. It belongs to the people. And to have this, this tree with these gold stars is symbolic of the respect and honor that we give to those who have fallen for those of us who have not. Uh, in South Carolina, this is a great military state. We go way back to the beginning, of course. We've been in all the wars, newer states, weren't even around when we were fighting some of the wars. Hadn't been settled yet, but we have been. We've been, our men and now women have been in every war, and of course the families have been in every war from the very beginning. We have eight major military bases. The Coast Guard is strengthening its presence in our state, and we have a strong military tradition as well as a strong Judeo-Christian tradition, which makes it even more appropriate to be doing this at Christmas time. So this is, this is something we want to continue because it's important. The, I remember, a, is, I think it was in a book, it may have been a movie about a book, but it was a statement that a general made about he was wondering where we got such young men that were really to run into live fire to protect their country. And make no doubt about it, there's no other way to do it. Because at some point, that's what it gets down to every time, if history is any guide for the future. There will be more wars. It's a dangerous world. And we honor those who are willing to sacrifice in this way for us. So again, on behalf of being in this house, which belongs to the 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians, it's a great honor to display this tree, representing our respect, love, and gratitude to those who have fallen protecting us. And now, we'll light the tree. Miss Peggy? Oh, yeah. Me? Anybody else want to say something while we're here? Feel moved? <laughs> all right. Will you all come take a look? They have, have names on them. It's, uh, it's an inspiring display. This is, this is Elaine Johnson. I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right.